so I have my APM 2.5 on my PBS Discovery. I just moved it over. And I have Arducopter 3.0.1. Default settings, and you'll notice there's a decent amount of oscillation when it's trying to stabilize. In this video, I'm going to walk through what I do to tune the pitch and roll gains to get rid of those oscillations. And let me point out, you may have watched a video of mine that shows how to use your save trim and your auto trim features. Now, I've already done that with the TBS, and that works great to get you stable in hover mode when you're just hovering. But when you want to, let's say, recover from a pitch or a roll and you're in stabilized mode, uh, this tuning tutorial will show you how to get those dialed in so you have less oscillations. And the method we're going to use in this demonstration is the pitch trim knob, and we'll have that configured to adjust our pitch and roll gains while we're in the air. And here's how that's going to work. We have channel 5 from our receiver going to input number 6 on the APM. Okay, and now to get our pitch trim knob connected, we're going to go into our profile and go into settings. Look for the auxiliary channel settings. And channel 5, which is on our receiver, we're going to set that to the pitch trim knob, hit menu, confirm that. Now we have that set. Okay, we're in mission planner with everything connected. Our transmitter is connected as well. And let me point out, this is one of the most important steps to getting this working. So under initial setup, we're gonna go down and we're gonna do radio calibration. Now I've already done the calibration for my standard sticks, but the key for this setup, if you notice channel six, which is where we have our pitch trim knob connected to. You can see that moving. We actually want to calibrate that. And if you don't calibrate this channel 6 input, you'll run into problems when uh, using your pitch trim knob to set your P gain for pitch and roll. I've run into that a few times, so this is definitely one of the most important steps to get this working. So I'm going to go ahead and hit calibrate radio and just do all my standard sticks. Now if you notice channel 6, I'm actually going to trim that, turn that dial and I'm going to go all the way up with it, then all the way down, and now we're going to click done, and our sticks have been calibrated. Okay, with that done, we're going to move on to config and tuning, and you'll see the APM copter PIDs list. And what we'll do is go down to channel 6 option. We're going to do the stabilize pitch and roll setting. So it's the first guy in that menu. And we're going to set the minute and max values here. And by default, you'll see these set at 4.5. So a range that I've been using, and I think I read somewhere, is we want to do 3 and 6. So all the way down on our knob will be three and all the way up will be six. And we'll go ahead and click write params. So those are saved to the board now. And now that those are written, I'm gonna go ahead and you'll notice I'll turn this knob all the way to the left. And I'm gonna hit refresh screen down here. And if you look, you'll see that our P for pitch and roll are pretty close to three. And so I'll demonstrate, I'll go all the way up with it. And then I'll hit refresh screen again. And you should see these are real close to six. So what we're going to do for takeoff is we're going to try to get this right about in the middle. If I refresh screen, we're at 4.46, which is close enough. So now let's go take it for a flight, and then I'll be able to adjust those gains while I'm in the air. All right, we're going to tune in the air. I have the pitch trim knob in the middle. So that's a 4.5 for stabilized pitch and roll gain and I'm going to arm and talk you through what I'm doing. It's going to be a little bit difficult. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you the knob, but so you can see with 4.5, fair amount of oscillation. Now, if I were to turn that up some more, so I just turned it up, you're going to see a lot faster oscillation. 
So what I'm going to try to do is bring it down a little bit. Now you can see it's a little bit more soft, if you will. And it comes back to level pretty nicely. Not much oscillation there. Maybe I'll go up a little bit. Maybe it's too soft. Dial it a little bit down from that. That looks about right for now. So we're going to reconnect to Mission Planner and take a look at our gains. Okay, we're hooked back up to Mission Planner. And just to note that make sure you still have your transmitter turned on and battery powered up so that your knob or your channel that you're connected to is sending the proper value. So uh, currently where I have found to be a decent position for my TBS discovery frame on stabilized pitch and roll is about 3.1. You'll notice this lock pitch and roll values. I normally tend to leave that checked. So those are our settings. Now, those are what are coming from the actual channel. So what we need to do next, turn this off. And now we need to actually set these values. And what, what I recommend is just the furthest decimal point out, just bump it up one. So it's 3.1070. So I'm going to change it to 1071 and you'll notice that'll change automatically. And now I'm going to write those params. We've turned off our channel 6 input and we've set our pitch and roll P gain to 3.1071 for the APM 2.5 on the TBS discovery frame. And one last thing before we call it done, I recommend also doing the same for your pitch and roll in rate mode, we originally selected stabilized mode, but you can go down to rate, pitch and roll, and set those. And I've found that having both my stabilized pitch and roll gain, as well as my rate pitch and roll gain, really helps get the flight characteristics dialed in to where you want them. That's how I go about tuning my P gains for stabilized mode with the APM 2.5. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please post them below. And thanks for watching.